thank you guys very much. Uh, can you all hear me? Okay. Okay. Uh, my name is Kevin Scott. Uh, I am a React and Node developer learning React Native. I'm going to be talking about uh, using higher order components in React Native. Um, just a show of hands, um, a little closer to the mic. Is this better? How's this? Yeah? Okay. If I uh, get too quiet, just yell at me and I'll, uh, I'll start screaming. Um, how many front end developers do we have in the room here? Okay. Okay, and of those, how many React developers? Okay, and of those React developers, how many of you have played with React Native? Okay, all right. So um, I'm gonna be talking about higher order components. Um, they're very similar to higher order functions. So uh, a lot of these same concepts can be applied to Node, can be applied uh, to more general React, can be applied to other frameworks. Um, I am building, I've been working on an emoji Pictionary SMS-based app. Uh, so we are building, uh, it's a bunch of no node microservices that power a bot. Uh, and we are, because of Twilio costs uh, being what they are, we are porting it over to a native app using React Native. Um, it's basically like iMessage where um, it will, uh, fetch messages, um, allow you to send messages to your friends. Um, and one of the challenges we've run into is being able to consistently keep those messages up to date under a variety of circumstances. So we solved this using higher order components and it was uh, a very um, easy solution uh, with this concept. So I thought uh, it would make a good talk. So um, we're gonna start with what they are, how you'd use them, and then why you would use them. So, Let's actually start with why you would use them. So a messaging app fetches messages, duh, uh, ideally as immediately as possible. And on the web, it's pretty straightforward to do this. You load the page, uh, it hydrates with an initial, uh, initial array of, you know, say 100 messages, and then you set up a WebSocket uh, connection. And it's pretty trivial to keep those messages coming back and forth. On mobile, we have a few more challenges. So um, take this hypothetical iMessage app that we're building in React Native. There's a few areas where you would actually want to force refresh uh, for any new messages that have come in. Um, one, the user opens up the app. You wanna do an API call for the latest messages. Two, the user can go home and come back to the app. This won't trigger a um, the equivalent of a page refresh, you need to listen for this action explicitly and call an action when it happens. Um, three, you might be navigating within the app and you might not always want to keep those WebSocket connections open on mobile, especially if you have a lot of data coming down the pipe. Um, if you are being um, thoughtful about your users' uh, network costs, for instance. You might only want to fetch messages when you're within certain parts of your app. Uh, and then the final thing that we really struggled with was what happens when the user goes underground? What happens when they lose connectivity? We need to be able to monitor that and when they come back above ground, fetch for any new messages that might have come through. React Native provides hooks into some of these low-level system events like network connectivity going away or uh, the app going to the background or the foreground. So one solution, and the first solution that we had was you just put uh, these event hooks directly into your component. So uh, when the component mounts, you set up that event listener and when it unmounts, it goes away. And then you can rely on that to call your messages. Um, and this works, but it's not, uh, it's not very dry. You can't really reproduce it very easily across other views in your app. So, um, so that brings us to higher order components, which are a really great way of solving this issue. Uh, for the React developers, if you've used Redux, uh, you've used higher order components before, uh, though you might not already know it. Um, the, I'm gonna quote Facebook here, a higher order component is a function that takes a component and returns a new component. Um, it's very similar to higher order functions. Uh, and if you wanna browse the Redux docs, and there you go, you can actually see that um, 
it is actually returning a brand new component uh, when, you, when you render it. So I'm going to use the same concept to abstract away some of those events that I was talking about that we need to listen to, things like network connectivity changes, things like the app goes to the background and comes to the foreground. So whenever one of these things happen, we're going to trigger a custom lifecycle event on our component, and that will encapsulate whatever uh, actions we want to take, in our case, fetching messages. So instead of this, where we have app state, we're going to define something like this. And this abstracts all those events away, and it boils down to my view has appeared. Do something. And so how do you actually build that? This is how. It's a lot of code. I don't expect you to understand <laughs> it right away. Um, but really, the important stuff is this thing. What you do is you give it a component, and it returns a new component. So this isn't actually doing anything, but it sort of proves the concept. Um, so what we can do is we can define this wrapper component, which will render our child component that we pass to it. Uh, and, and if you see the uh, destructuring of this props, you're seeing that we're just passing uh, those props directly to the component. So it's a little cooler. We're still not doing anything, but we're spitting out this brand new thing on the other side. So we can take that a step further and actually pass a custom prop to our child component, and then this is accessible within that child component. Um, so we've established that we can call this function and return an entirely new instance of the component we're passing in. So what we can then do is something like this. So the parent component in component will mount can call this custom lifecycle method on its child. Now you might say, why not just call component uh, will mount on the child? Um, where this gets interesting is if we go back to that example of, going, of the app going to the background and the foreground um, using app state, what we can do is attach these listeners in the parent component um, and then call this custom lifecycle method whenever something changes. So we're calling it when the, uh, when the parent component mounts. We're also calling it whenever an app goes away and comes back. You can imagine that you could continue uh, going down this road. So you could listen for the WebSocket connections here. You could listen for navigation changes here. You listen to whatever you want, really, um, and abstract that all away so that any child component you write only ever needs to define this one method and respond to it. So I think this is so cool. Uh, hopefully you guys do. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I really just sort of scratched the surface on what it can do. Um, if you actually try to execute any of this code, it will not work because I've left out some key things. But if you're interested in learning more, you can go to this link and um, I go into a little bit more depth about how to actually um, uh, make this happen. Um, and so yeah, I, would, uh, I think we have time for a few questions. Uh, otherwise, you guys have been an awesome audience. So yeah. Yes, I have. On, uh, the question was, uh, have I used higher order components for uh, other things besides navigation? Yes. So, I mean, authentication is, a, is a, a great example. I've used them on the web. I haven't really used them on, this is the first uh, time on mobile I've used them. Um, but yeah, I mean, similar kind of concept, um, really good use case for it. All right. Oh, we got one more. That is a good question. Uh, I don't know the answer to that. Um, that would be a, a good discussion point for after, uh, after all the talks tonight. Come find me after. I'd love to talk to you about it. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody.